All right, let's go. Actually, we're not going to go yet. First, I want to show y'all something that I did yesterday. So yesterday, I was playing a little online Mario Kart Wii. A little Wii Mario Kart. There is no another, another name for online Mario Kart Wii. But I was playing it. I was playing it yesterday. I was having a lot of fun. I was at like 9,900 and something. So I was at I was at some amount of VR. I don't remember. Maybe even 9,800. But point is, I gained a little VR. I hit 9,999. That doesn't mean Road to 9,999 VR is over. No, far from it. In fact, this is a different license. So Road to 9s is still very much very much not over it's so not over okay now now we'll actually go time trial and y'all i can't believe y'all are so impatient i literally just started the stream and then someone popped in and was like wow i had to join during an intermission come on my man it just started you're not joining during during an intermission uh you know i, I thought about doing like a cool character for this track that ain't gonna happen that is not gonna happen see this ghost is so good and he uses waluigi part of the reason i can beat him in the first place is because he's using waluigi i need this little advantage with daisy because there's a lot of turns where it's clutch the last two turns it's huge to be on the mock bike huge also this first turn this this will be an ongoing thing throughout the whole screen if anybody, anybody, can explain to me why the bumps at the beginning exist. Like, let me show you the bumps at the beginning. You know what I'm talking about, right? Like, these little bumps. If someone can explain to me why these exist, what the purpose of these are, I will give you one million dollars. I'm not real. That is not a joke. I will give you 100 dollars bojillion trillion dollars if you can explain to me why those bumps exist i can't come up with a single reason i think that they were there like by accident like they forgot to take them out or something because you can't trick off of them i don't know why it would make sense if you could trick off of them that'd be pretty cool but nah no that's no can't trick off of them that'd be way too convenient way too cool for Reggie fills a May. Boom. If we're ahead of them here, it's a really good beginning. Uh oh, we're dead. You know what? No, we're not dead. We're gonna keep going. That was ugly. It's not the end of the world ugly, you know? See? We're ahead of them now somehow oh just kidding we're not ahead of him i suck <laughs> that's actually a really good lap though he has a really really bomb lap too oh i'm dead oh, that that blue zipper ramp is hard and by the way if i'm ahead of him on lap one that's good because i need that lead for lap two he'll have a better lap two than me he just will Get around. Oh, almost. You should try up tricking on the wall glitch. It's much easier with your alignment. Maybe. I've tried it with an up trick and I didn't like it. I like doing a down trick better. Because down tricking. I'll try an up trick here. <laughs> Just kidding. I'll try an up trick on the next one. But down tricking on 150, it's a lot faster. You need a tighter alignment to do it, but it's way faster. So here, I've been getting a lot of success with the down trick, but I'll try your up trick strategy. I'll just not reset here. Let's see if the up trick works. That was pretty good. I still like the down trick, though. But maybe I'll switch to the up trick. If the up trick keeps working, and you're saying it keeps working, Dei, I'll, I'll try it. 
And he doesn't lean down at the at the first turn. If I get the opportunity to do that, I'll do it. Just get the up trick. See, that wasn't as good that time. With the down trick, I don't know. I think the down trick's more successful. I'll probably talk about the Sacramento Kings sometime on the stream. I mean, let's be real. What would I what would I go a full stream without talking about the Kings? Of course not. Of course not. But I'll save y'all. I'll save it till later. Because I know most of y'all aren't here for the King stock. Maybe some of y'all are, I don't know. But that's not why y'all are here. Y'all are here to see me beat the ghost. To which I will do. Maybe. Possibly. Do you or did you go to Boise State University? I have absolutely no affiliation with Boise State University, my man. I have never been to Idaho. Get up there! Oh my god, that was insane. <laughs> Too bad it ended the run. That little uh, trick to skip the turn at the end of there, I hate it so much. It's terrible. I mean, I mean, actually getting the trick and doing it isn't hard. That's pretty easy. Again, $1 million to whoever can explain why this bump exists. But anyway, so that trick at the end to skip the turn, it's hard to like stay even with the blue boost panel and actually like keep going up and down. Sometimes you'll just kind of ride along it and you won't go up or down. You'll just kind of stay flat and that's really slow. You don't want to do that. It's not great see that right there i mean we had a we had a bad section going into the blue zipper section but even without it just getting enough air from wherever you are like you're not at the same place every time on each lap trying to get the trick so it's just kind of a game of trying to get that space that sucks sometimes i hit down on the d-pad and it just doesn't give me a down trick it's weird it's definitely not my fault. That would be crazy. No, it wouldn't be my fault. You think I would accidentally hit side trick? Of course not. Actually kind of worked there though. <laughs> Stay alive. Oh wow, we stayed alive. There we go, that's what we want. I mean, kinda, that was actually really slow, but we got around and then died. I mean, even if I didn't trick there, I'm dying. It would have given me a bad bounce. And I was way too tight. You have to be, like, super wide on a ton of turns. Nope. <sighs> Welcome to Waluigi Stadium. It's a lot of that. It's a lot of getting to the blue zipper section and messing up. Because you, like, go up too much or something like that. Or maybe don't go up enough. Or sometimes it'll just send you back down without actually putting you on the blue zipper. You'll see what I mean when that happens. And it will happen. I don't know why it happens. It's very weird. Derby! Sup, Derby. Dude, Derby. Whenever you send um, those videos that you post on YouTube into the, into the Big Pride Discord, I always watch them. The skill issue pack, dope. Huge fan. Huge fan of Frogger. That was a great one. I wanna, I wanna get my hands on that pack. That sounds like a lot of fun. But keep sending those. Those are awesome. I love them. Come for the Mario Kart. You're staying for the Kings talk. Well, there is quite a lot to talk about about the Kings, like always. 
but there's also plenty of time in this stream to talk about it. Trust me. It's going to take a very long time. Get up there. See, sometimes you don't even have to touch the analog stick and it brings you back up. Sometimes it doesn't. You just got to hope that... You just have to guess and hope that whatever your, your guess is, is right. That's all you can do. And maybe get better. Be uh, less bad. Like that, you know? If I was less bad... Probably wouldn't have failed. What? I'm, I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go with it. Just kidding. It's over. You know, that's something I have to mention about this track. There's a ton of places to fail. As I've demonstrated quite a few times, I don't need to reset on every fail. Like, he doesn't make any glaring issue, like, no glaring errors. But there's still a lot of room to catch up here. Like, that. That's not catastrophically bad, so I'm gonna keep going. Like, if I didn't fail there, I was whipping that turn and gaining all that time back. Do I have a spike ball set? I might. I might have a spike ball set. <laughs> Maybe a little, uh, like, a series of spike ball in the summer. Say a summer series with spike ball. That'd be pretty dope. Maybe a little Nintendo land. Get up there! Oh! You see, that's what I'm saying. Sometimes it doesn't let you back up. I don't know why. Oh, and by the way, I've been working on my, uh, on my Animal Crossing game. What's it called? Sweet Day? I've been working on my Sweet Day, Peyton. I'm pretty good now. I can beat Sam, but that's not all that hard. I'm going with it. I'm going with it. Oh my god, this is bad. Unless I get a... Oh, no, I didn't get a good thingy. <laughs> Pookus giving me $2. Thanks, Pookus. I'll go spend the money on... Uh, I have no idea. I, I, I'll probably spend it on gas. nuts. There's a big one right there. What do I think of the Bucks? I don't dislike the Bucks. I like the Bucks. Because of Giannis. He's funny. And Chris Middleton is in the running for one of the ugliest NBA players in the world. Probably ever. Sorry, Chris Middleton. But it's true. If he wasn't really, really good, man, he'd have no chance. I mean, he's not really, really good. He's a very solid player. He's not like an all-star or anything, Chris Middleton. But he's good. He, he uh, warrants his spot on the team. In fact, maybe he isn't even on the team anymore. I don't really keep up with the Bucks. The trade deadline was crazy, so maybe he's not on the Bucks anymore. But Chris Middleton. If you don't know what Chris Middleton looks like, that's good. You don't need to know what Chris Middleton looked like. He's a ugly looking dude. We'll put it like that. Now the Sacramento Kings don't have any ugly looking dudes. They're not ugly. They're a very good looking team. Get around. Boom. Okay. Come on, make me a head right here. My head by a bit. Oh, 
Okay, we're good. We're not good. Who's better, Luca or Steph? Steph, honestly. Luca's chubby. And, uh, like, I think the Warriors are doing better right now anyway. So, yeah. Steph. How many rings does Luca have versus how many rings does Steph have? I think the great question is if if Luca is ever going to get a ring. He would definitely have to get traded to get a ring. Kind of like CP3. He's just a great player. He's more like Dame Lillard. He's a great player on a bad team. Well, the, the Trailblazers haven't always been bad. They're bad this season, but they're usually not terrible. That's why I hate the blue zipper section. Hate it. It's terrible. The Ghost is top 20, right? Yeah, it is. 17th world worldwide. Can you believe that? With the Flame Runner, this guy is 17th worldwide. That is impressive. That's really impressive stuff. Too bad we're going to take his title, though. And it'd be really great if we can get top 10. Just for bragging rights, you know. It'd be pretty cool. Who's better looking, Chris or Draymond? Draymond. I'm, I'm just... I already made the claim that Chris is the ugliest NBA player ever. Can't go back on that claim. Oh, it's over. Ooh, sub jury encoding. If he goes to Phoenix and plays shooting guard, he'll get a ring. Talking about Luca. Luca better not go to Phoenix. I I hope he doesn't. They're already stacked enough. They don't need more. Imagine that, though. He would most certainly win a ring if he went to Phoenix. Come on, make it around. Oh. I gotta get top 10 if I if I wanna bop Cowman. Alright, looks like we gotta get top 10. Guys, Cowman said it himself. Now we gotta beat him. Oh my god, what a turn. Just kidding, that sucked. We'll go with Day E strat of the up trick. Didn't work. Okay, great. Day E, why'd you mess me up? Boo! How many people beat this ghost? Either like one or two people, or maybe no one. Because, I mean, this ghost hasn't even been around all that long, only a few months. And it's not like it was the world record or anything and 17 people would beat it. No, 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 no. It was probably 17th when it was made. If I already guess. The Lakers played better without AD? Perhaps. I don't follow the Lakers. I know they're rising in the in the standings right now. They're going they're going pretty good. The Lakers. I'm surprised they've been so bad this season. Like, I get Russell Westbrook is a curse, and he's terrible, but really, like, he's not even putting up bad numbers. When we played against him um, the other night, when we played the Clippers, he's a good player. So I don't know how, whenever he gets on a team, they start losing. It's so weird. Granted, when the game was on the line, and the Clippers were down by one, and he had a very open court straight to the straight to the hoop he fumbled the pass and it went out of bounds and they lost the game which was just ecstatic for me but for him that must have been awful so maybe he does suck but the lakers the lakers i'm scared of the lakers well actually no i'm not we're, we're the two seed 
We can beat the Lakers. We have beat the Lakers. If the Lakers get into the playoffs and we play them first round, we are beating the Lakers. I mean, we are. We're, we're a better team. I don't care if they have LeBron and AD and all them. We got Chemezi Metu. <laughs> we got Keegan Murray. I say that like it's a joke, but like they're actually doing well. That was a bad pass. Are you sure it was a bad pass? I watched it. I watched that pass straight to Russell's hands. It was over his head, sure, but I mean, you can make a catch over your head. That's not that hard to do. Basketballs are grippy. They're made with like a special leather to make it easy to catch. He did not.